to the Fixed Truth Coop channel, guys. My name is Chris. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. This channel's pretty much started off with my C5 Corvette. We branched into the 51 Chevy that's over there. I do come sometimes do some like tool reviews and tool mix stuff like that. Typical car guy, hobbyist, DIY kind of guy. So about two years ago, I did a video on my 60 gallon Husky air compressor. And when I did the video, a lot of people said, oh, this isn't really a review. It's more of a features or what it does. And then I had some comments on there and people had questions about how quiet is it? What is it like when it turns on? Things like that. So I'm gonna give a quick rundown of it. So I got this when I was for my 29th birthday, which was let me 35 in July. So this is about six years I've had this thing. And I've literally put it to hell and back. I really have. And I'm not a professional painter. I'm not a professional mechanic. I'm not a professional anything at all. With that being said, I primarily use this air compressor to detail my Corvette. And what I mean by that, it's on 100 PSI. After I wash the car, chamois it, and use a squeegee on it, I use the air compressor to blow out the nooks and crannies, the crevices, all the body lines, you know, around the, the headlights, the tail lights, the marker lights, around the uh, weather stripping and trim, just to get that water out. Because you know when you dry the car off and you go for a drive, there's always that little run of water that comes out of somewhere you don't know, know where it came from. But I dry that out because the car's black, and as soon as you wash it, it's dirty again. I also use it a lot to detail the interior. I don't use toothpicks. I don't use Q-tips and all that stuff. I use the air compressor. 100, 120 PSI, blow all the nooks and crannies into a microfiber uh, rag, and that's how I clean my interior. That's how I get all the vents and everything cleaned out. It's all the cracks in the seats. The cr you know, I even do my floor mats with it. It blows all of the sand and everything out of it. So primarily, it's I live in New England, so I drive this car when it's hot out or nice out. So that thing runs, and when it runs at 100 PSI, 120 coming out of a blowgun, it fires up a lot. And that motor has been run quite a bit. Just recently, we painted this car here in my house, or in my garage, I should say. A friend of mine and I, we painted it. I did all the body work with a DA, and that included grinding a lot of the Bondo off of the roof. There was tons of Bondo on this car, and I used the DA to do a lot of the body work, blowing off the car, etc., etc. So that thing turned on all the time. We painted the car with that and had zero problems with it catching up. We kept the compressor, make sure I'm recording. We kept the compressor at 80 PSI, and then my buddy Ryan adjusted the PSI for the gun when he painted the car on the regulator that's actually on the gun. You already know the features, but I'll go over them real quick. It's a 60 gallon tank. It has 3.7 horsepower, max of 155 PSI, which is where this thing blows open. 11 and a half SCFMs at 90 PSI and 13.4 at 40 PSI. It's a sealed unit. I've yet to change the oil. This motor, I haven't done anything to it. And I probably should change the air filter, wherever the heck it is. But I haven't yet. Oh, there it is, right there. All right, so many probably already know it is a hardwired 240 unit. It used to be over where the refrigerator was, but I had moved it over here to get access to the straightaway to work on all my cars. This thing has been absolutely great for me. The only problem that I've had with this so far is the valve on the bottom that you loosen up to blow out all the air and get all the moisture and any condensation, anything that builds up in the tank. That is the only thing, knock on wood, knock on, knock on wood. That is the only thing that has malfunctioned with this. I don't know if it was just crappy when I twisted it out to loosen it, to let everything out, it stripped itself. Super simple fix. The fitting is a national pipe thread fitting that goes into a bigger fitting and you just thread it in for a new one. It's like a $10 piece at Home Depot. I think I got that. Otherwise, Zero problems with this compressor. It's kept up with everything I've done. Like I said, we just painted that car, and I detail this vet a lot. It's black. Every time I drive it, I come back, I have to wipe it down, wash it, do whatever I got to do. I use air guns, nailers, um, all my in pneumatic power or pneumatic tools for you know ugga duggas and taking off nuts and bolts and stuff that doesn't come off easily. No problems with that. A friend of mine used it to sandblast. A friend of mine used it to airbrush. We just turn the pressure right down. It's been fine. For six years of having this and knock on wood, not doing anything to it, I think it's worth every penny that was paid for it. 
I see that they have gone up in price now. I think they're like up around like 900 bucks. I think this was 580 when we first got it. It's actually a present from a friend of mine and my wife for my birthday. As far as an at-home hobbyist, even somebody who's running a small paint shop, I think this air compressor would be just fine for you. Although I'd like to see maybe an 80 gallon tank and a little bit more of horsepower. But you know, next time around, maybe I'll get a better tank. But for right now, or not a tank, a better motor, but for right now, this thing is working. I'm not going to touch it. If anything pops, either the compressor motor or the actual, actual like electric motor, I'm just going to upgrade that. The tanks don't really go bad, so as long as I can keep up with it with a good motor and a good pump, I'm good with it. This is a good old Harbor Freight special here, air uh, regulator slash water separator. It's been on here as long as I've had this tank, and I think these are like 20 bucks. The first one I bought, I loosened this too fast, and this thing blew off. Probably just crap, but I've had good luck with this one and separated the water great enough to paint that car with absolutely zero problems. I also had a request on how loud it was. It's very loud. It's not a quiet compressor by any means. It's an air compressor. There are ones that have a lot quieter motors, which if that's what you're looking for, by all means, I just let some air out of this. It's currently right around maybe 110 or 120 PSI. I'm going to fire it up for you, and hopefully my phone picks up exactly how loud it is. Pretty sure you can hear some of the videos when we were painting the actual 51. The compressor fire up a couple of times, then I went to like time lapse and put some music up. I'm talking a little bit louder right now, which I hopefully you can hear as we Sounds like an air compressor to me. Uh, it's not as loud as like a pancake or a little hot dog one, but it's definitely making some noise. Uh, a friend of mine has a nice big 80 uh, industrial size, and it's quiet as you may, so we can talk normally, but it's also like a $1,600 air compressor. This is my $600 special. Well, so that's how loud it is. Honest review, if you were to go spend the money on it at Home Depot, I think it's worth it for your house. I'm not a professional, but if it's something that you're looking to and it meets your budget, why not send it? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe to it, put the little dinger bell on and see what I got to offer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.